most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and return with heaven. When we do this, we have to pick a partner who sees us, who knows us, and knows how to warn us with God's love. God's love is what most people are missing today. Arrogance is what women do today. Lies are what men carry out today. And foolish people acknowledge nothing but their own rights today. That's what a man might say who works in the force, who wants to ruin someone, who wants to hurt someone, who wants to take from someone, and who wants to steal property that came from a great life from someone. You see, the liars in the force take property. They take houses, they take cars, they take trinkets, they take stars, they take trophy wives, and they take a lot of things that don't belong to them. They do it because they can with their badge and their gun. But they do it because nowhere in their hearts has anything but Satan begun. And when I say that, I can tell you that those of you who think it's clever and funny to steal from a homeless man, or think it's wonderful and great that you can take information that's not yours and spread it around a community on Facebook or anywhere else, are really looking at life in hell. You see, Jesus may not be in you. You might not have any God. But God doesn't stop watching what you do. And Satan is a force, both in the spirit realm and on earth, that ruins people's lives, steal from them their wives, and literally abuse their property goods. You see, a man's property is a man's property. Last night a black player walked by and asked me if I had a phone. And technically the answer is no. I don't have a phone connected to a marvelous telephone line because we have companies that pocket our minutes, which means that even if we have a proven plan, that plan may not function for us when we need it to. But if he's referring to other things in my pack that he has marvelously decided to look on, he just put his entire life in a situation he lost it because he might have been the one who stole my hat while I was busy feeding animals of the earth. Or was it the black child that walked way too close to me I might have skipped over while I was busy and God said just ignore him because he's a little twerp and took my hat. Or was it the woman last night who wanted to stand outside and chat just a few minutes before the rain took place. But at this time I'm missing a black satin hat that I purchased from one of these player shops. But what I really get tired of is dealing with is reverse racism. It's like these people have forgotten where they came from. It's like they've totally regarded nothing about their heritage, and they totally think that American citizens have died all over the world to protect our borders so they can steal, lie, and cheat us out of our money, out of our property, and out of our clothes. What a sadness, I think, is going on in a community that's reputation is always about their britches under their ass and their dicks, their hip-hop music played way too loud, their shouting women screaming at children because they failed to produce a book to read about how to raise them and openly then we as the white community get blamed for all their shit. No offense but you've chosen to remain a slave. You've chosen to remain enslaved and my guess is that even if I record this audio file with my humblest of opinions based on what I'm observing almost every single day creating a consistent, consistent mathematical analysis of the type of people coming at me, playing by me, ignoring me, and doing nothing for me as a person who has barely no food, I can tell you that God is not in a mood, and that his purpose to come to the earth is not for your glory, but for his. So when you lie, steal, and cheat someone out of their property, when you lie about your rights to review someone's goods, when you put your hands in someone's pockets, and stole their things from storage, you really proved you're a black soul representing Satan.